everyone, it's Lisa Stenz from Lisa's Creative Corner. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a pop-up gift card holder. Here are a few samples using the new More Than Autumn stamp and die bundle. In this video, I'm just going to teach you how to make the bare bones card so that you can decorate it any way you like. At the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can get the instruction guide on how to make these cards and how you can get the pre-cut card stock and envelopes with the instruction guide absolutely free. You're going to want to start off with a piece of cardstock that measures 11 by 5 and a half. I'm using a piece of early espresso cardstock. Then you're going to pull out your scoreboard or other scoring tool and score the cardstock in three places. But to start off, we're actually going to score it only in two places on one side. We're going to score it at four and a quarter and then five and a half, but we're going to skip that for now and score it again at six and three quarters. Now we're going to flip the cardstock over and this is where you're going to score it at five and a half. And the reason we're doing it this way where we flip it over is because it's going to fold like a mountain in a valley and you get a much crisper fold when you fold it into the raised side. So as you can see here, I'm folding it into the raised side in the center and then I'm going to take my bone folder and burnish it just to give it a nice crisp fold. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold it the opposite direction on both of the other score lines. So you can see it creates a little mountain and a little valley and I'm going to go ahead again and burnish both of those sides so that the edges are nice and crisp. Now see how it creates a nice little mountain? Now we're going to go ahead and flip it over and we're going to use our tear tape and we're going to seal three of those sides. So go ahead and tear two small pieces to seal the ends. As you can see here, I'm not being very exact and it's okay if it's not perfect because nobody's really going to even see it. So once you peel off the protective coating, you're going to go ahead and add one long strip of the tear tape to the outside edge of the card once it's folded. So you can see here, it's actually on the inner side of that last score line and just make sure that it goes from one side to the other. And then once you reveal the tape, peel off that protective coating, you can see it's on the sides and then on the top there. When you fold it like this, you'll create that little pop-up in the center. And from the outside, it just looks like a standard card. Now we need to make a little cutout in that pop-up section so that you have somewhere to slip your gift card into. Now you can use any shape for this, but because I use the nested essential dies for the outside of my cards, I'm going to go ahead and use the smallest size diamond to use as the cutout because it is the perfect size for a gift card. So go ahead and fold the card in half and then take the die and line it up perfectly in the center. And I'm using a little piece of washi tape to hold it in place before I run it through my die cut machine, but you don't have to do that. I just like to do that to keep it in place. So once I've done that, I ran it through my die cut machine and now I'm going to go ahead and peel it off and the center piece here can just be thrown in the trash. Now you can go ahead and refold the card so that pop-up section is in the center. One thing I noticed when I was making these cards is after we run it through the die cut machine, it squishes it down so much that it's really hard to get the gift card into that opening. So I found that running the bone folder inside that opening a few times helps to loosen it up a bit so that the gift card slides in much easier. And that's pretty much it. Now that you have the basics down on how to make these pop-up gift cards, now you can decorate them any way you like for any occasion. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I made these three cards using the new More Than Autumn stamp set and die bundle. If you would like to purchase the instruction guide on how to make these cards, I will have it available on my blog by the end of the month. It is currently September 2024 and I will have it available at the end of the month and you can purchase it at any time after that. Or if you would like the cutting guide for free, in addition to the pre-cut cardstock and envelopes, not including the die cuts, all you need to do is purchase the More Than Autumn bundle, which includes the stamp sets and the dies, from my website by the end of the month. So that is by September 30th, 2024. And I will send you the printed instruction guide along with the pre-cut cardstock and the envelopes to make these three cards. 
Another way that you can get the instruction guide for free is by joining my team because I share all of my instruction guides with my team members. For more information, check out the description box down below or visit my website, elisascreativecorner.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.